Hello everyone, this is Aida Kolami from Agrimet Self Research Company and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use PV function in Excel. So this is another financial function that um, you can find in Excel and PV function actually returns, <clears throat> actually calculates the present value of uh, the loan based on the interest rate number of periods and the payment that is made in each period so first of all if i want to use pv function first i need to put an equal mark then i type pv so as you can see in the description it says returns the present value of an investment so I double click on that then it says the define your rate so my interest rate let's say okay I haven't right, uh, written it here my interest rate let's say is 5% number of periods are 36 um, suppose that we are uh, going to return the loan in three years then the payment in each period let's say is 265 dollars now i uh, put an equal sign then i type pv then it says define your rate okay my interest rate is five percent then it says a uh, number of periods so it's 36 and then it says your uh, payment in each period or PMT. So I say it's 265. And these two options are future value, future value and type. So future value is the amount that you want to be left after the last payment so if it's um, not defined it will be the default value which is zero so you want to return the uh, money return it all back okay the type is zero or one zero means that you want to make the payment at the beginning of the each period and the one means that you want to make the payment uh, in the end of each period so default is also zero it means that you're going to make it in the beginning of the period so i close the parentheses and let's see how it goes so the present value of that investment of that or that loan is four thousand three hundred eighty four so that's it for today's video. I hope you all learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video. And bye.